Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hello everyone, this is Sam Mowers here and welcome to episode 567 of the Crypto Corner podcast. For news today, Bitcoin neared its all-time high over a weekend rally. Riot Blockchain has reported its production and operations results for March and the first quarter of the year. Galaxy Digital has filed for a Bitcoin ETF and Canon has reported its 2020 financial results. Just before we get into the show, however, a quick reminder that if you enjoyed this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. Some of these include the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast and also the Cannabis Podcast. Both of those will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. So over the weekend, Bitcoin once again reclaimed a trading price above $60,000 US, getting as high as just over $61,000 briefly as it neared its all-time high, which was established on March 13th this year. This is according to data from CoinMarketCap. At the time of recording, Bitcoin appears to be holding support with a trading price of roughly $60,300. Riot Blockchain Inc., which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol RIOT, has reported a production and operations update for March and the first quarter of 2021. Highlights include the production of 187 Bitcoin, which is an increase of 80% over its March 2020 production. The company also reported holdings of 1,565 Bitcoin on its balance sheet, which was all produced by its own mining operations. And the company recently signed a definitive agreement to acquire Winstone US Inc., which includes North America's largest Bitcoin hosting facility, and anticipates a total hash rate capacity of 7.7 exahash per second with a fleet of approximately 81,146 ant miners by Q4 2022, resulting from recent miner orders and acquisitions in the past quarter. Galaxy Digital Holdings Limited, which trades on the TSX under the ticker symbol GLXY, has filed for a Bitcoin exchange traded fund with the U.S. Securities and Exchanges Commission. An excerpt from the application's prospectus summary reads, quote, The sponsor believes that the design of the trust will enable certain investors to more effectively and efficiently implement strategic and tactical asset allocation strategies that use Bitcoin by investing in the shares rather than purchasing, holding, and trading Bitcoin directly, end quote. Such an ETF has yet to receive approval in the U.S., with the SEC having declined several similar applications in the past few years. Finally, Canon Inc., which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol CAN, has announced its unaudited financial results for the fourth quarter and full year ended December 31, 2020, This included a decrease in the company's total net revenue from about $210 million U.S. in 2019 to $68.6 million in 2020. Accompanying this was a year-over-year decrease of 93.1% in total computer power sold, computing power sold rather, falling from 2.9 million terahash per second in 2019 to 0.2 million terahash per second in 2020. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Google Play Music, and most audio platforms available.